Hi guys, so uh, today what I'm doing is I'm going to be drawing out my design uh, around the outsides and insides of my painting. As you can see kind of here, I've already started. Um, what I'm doing right here is blocking off all of the colors and then I'm going to write a little W for white because that's where I want my white is around this section here so that when I add my crystals in, they're landing on a white background instead of a colored background because of the fact that these are glass and they're see-through a little bit you'll see the color. So if you are wanting, say, a gold inside, you would then put your gold in first and then your crystals will all kind of shine a gold color through the um, paint. So anyway, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna draw out my design so that when I go to pour my painting, I'm not just doing it sort of freehand. That way I, you know, I have a little bit of freedom if I decide to change my mind, sometimes I do. Um, but this way I have a basic idea of how the design is going to look when it's done. Okay, so here you go. You can watch my, how I'm going to do it. Probably my phone will fall over here at some point and it'll make a big mess. But, so on this one, uh, the client was wanting a similar design to the one I had done before. So I was using a picture of that um, to kind of base my idea off of. I've already traced a line around the outside and I, I don't follow exactly along the pathway on the outside of the rim here. I want it to look a little bit more natural. If you were to follow it too perfectly, it would just look kind of funny. So I've actually had spots where if you can see here on the outside, there we go, um, on the outside rim right here, I'm not going to follow the outside line on the inside, but also I'll come down here and maybe give it a little bit of a lower section so that this is out and it's not following it around. So this is going to be gray, so I'll probably actually do my light gray. So I'm just going to put LG there for my light gray. And then I'll probably come along with a really thin line here of some dark gray just to kind of give that line um, a little extra something. And I won't again follow exactly perfectly along the line. I'm going to kind of come out a little bit just to give it some interest but knowing that that's kind of where I want to end up at the end. So then I'm going to put a little DG, dark gray. Okay, so then I know that this is going to be white, light gray, dark gray. Uh, then I probably want to do a little bit of clear in here. Uh, so then I'll kind of leave a little section. And so I like to do the clear. I like to give a bit of a clear section and it actually kind of lets your, um, your color that sit beside it, so the dark gray in this case, it lets the color sort of flow out in towards the next color and it really gives a beautiful look. Um, and then it'll also, because I'm going to do another line of white right here, um, white really likes being next to the clear, that's where you can get some really cool cells or different looking streaks or anything inside the painting which really really looks kind of neat. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a section of white which I'm going to do a little bit thicker. I know that I kind of want to have a dark color beside it. So I'm just again freehanding a color along here. Just going to put a little W and follow that line again over on this side. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to put a W so I know that this one was clear. Oh, I forgot to do that clear. And then the white. And then I will do another line of the light gray here and now I've kind of changed up my design pattern a little bit I'm kind of going quite a bit bigger slower bumps in it so you have kind of a more natural flow and I'm starting to kind of go towards what the pattern is on the outside line of my geode um, instead of just flowing on the inside so in here I'm going to kind of trace the inside lines so they all kind of go this way, but towards the outside, I'm going to start following what the lines are on the outside. It just gives you a really nice transition in between the two colors. So that there was going to be um, my light gray. And then again, I'm going to do the same thing right here with the dark gray. And I'm just going to follow along the inside line again, right here, along with my dark gray, just kind of a large section. And I'm just going to put my little DG right there so I know, okay, I'm going to put a dark gray right there. And then I'm going to do another section of white right here. And I'm just going to put a W here in the inside because I'm actually not going to trace that section. I'm just going to leave it because we're getting so close to the outside line here. So all I'm going to do 
now is just add in one more little section of the gray, but following the outside line. So here I'm gonna follow around out here. And I'm just going to trace where I'm going to be putting my, um, I use mortar. Um, I know some people use foam, like a spray foam. Um, it's actually really awesome doing the spray foam because it's super lightweight and it gives you a really cool um, like bubbled effect that looks really natural. Uh, but this time I'm actually just going to use um, mortar for um, doing tiling. I just mix up a tiny bit in a bowl and then I paint it whatever color I want for my outside. And again, that kind of gives me a more natural look. So I'm just following along the line in here. Just like so, all the way kind of around. Again, not doing a perfect tracing. Just kind of giving myself a guideline of where I'm going to go. And then that's where I'm going to have my light gray and I'm just gonna um, check out what I've got here for design so what I can see right now is that I'm super happy with where this light gray is going on this section on on this side over here but I'm not happy with where it's going over here because I have one really large blank space right here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring this section that was the dark gray and actually bring it way out over here and kind of follow that outside line. I got a little carried away with the inside. So I'm just going to erase the line that I put here for the dark gray before. And this is why you do it this way, you use a little pencil. I just use my children's pencil crayons because I don't know, they just do what I have around. And then I'm going to follow again along here in this line that this is where my dark gray is going to be. And I'm going to just take away a little bit on this inside line of my light gray just because I want to follow a little bit further out. So I'm just going to come in here and bring my light gray out a little bit more and then bring it back in. And then just erase the other line so that I have a nice line that I can follow. And again, they don't have to be perfect. It's just giving you a basic guideline. And if you change your mind while you're painting, that's okay too. I do that often while I have something traced out and then something will happen and it looks really good. So then I just stick with that. Um, but yeah, so basically what I have now is a completed idea of where my colors are going to be and my little symbols on here so that I know what colors I'm doing and where. So I know that this is white and I know this is light gray and that's light gray and I'm actually just going to follow it around writing little LGs and little Ws kind of all over. Just like a paint by number sort of thing. You wanna make sure that you actually have your colors where they should be because you don't actually want, you know, green or, or sorry, gray to go into white on this side because then it won't line up on your painting. Um, and we don't want that. So this way, if you just kind of put your little Ws for white here and then, okay, this was a light gray, then I'm able to follow along my pattern and oh, I guess I better do the dark gray over here dark gray and white and light gray and so yeah that's basically how it's gonna look um, here I'll lift this up and see if you can't see the lines where I've done the designs there you can see close up how I've followed around given myself a guide to go by and my little letters to help myself out so yeah, that's how I do that section right there. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably mix up my mortar for the outside section to give it a 3D rock look first. And then I'll come back in and I'll start pouring my first coat of resin. And yeah, so that should be everything right there. 